look, there's little penises sticking out of the ground. Little stony phalluses. This is interesting. This is a normal occurrence over in Australia? Hello everybody, Grace Do Plays. We're back with more Revhead with the Ronald McDonald Mobile. Someone mentioned this. I didn't even think about it until I read that comment. You're right. There it is. You guys want fries with that? So I looked at the comments and you folks said you wanted to bang. To boot and bang, that is. To the newspaper, damn it. So we're going to check out, oh, a cheap boot and bang special. There's one right there. Boot and bang drag car wreck. Hold on now, boys. There's, wow, this is like, it's like freaking boot and bang central. Look at them, they're everywhere. They're falling out of the sky, man. You got to do boot and bang over here. You got the boot and bang in bad condition. You got the boot and bang speedy. You got the boot and bang car wreck of the special. There's so many damn boot and bangs. This game knew, this game knew that we were going to be boot and banging up a storm. And that's exactly what's going to freaking happen. So, first thing uh, is, well, man, you know, it's almost like, do I keep the parts? Do I get rid of the parts? Because we got a lot of extra parts here. Like, a lot of extra parts. Um, and if I buy a wreck and then fix it up, like, I guess we could use some of the parts, but we're going to need some cash. Like, big time cash. We could, we could win some races if we want to. But I'd much rather, you guys seem to really enjoy the uh, the ripping cars apart part of the game too. So let's do that a little bit. Uh, first things first. What we can do is, for instance, we can grab this wrecked Magora. And we can rip this apart at the very least and get some cash up. We could have bought the boot and bang special. But it's possible I'm going to like want to keep that. Let's see what sort of horrible creature we end up getting. Do I have a car out here with no tires? I don't think I do. I think everything has tires. Ooh, look at this. Not that many- Wow! The top speed on this is surprisingly- This is very interesting. There's no motor. I think we just got hosed, boys. I think we just got hosed. There better be an engine in this thing. I'm gonna be really pissed off if there isn't. Isn't that where all the money comes from, just about? There's nothing! We got hosed. That's okay, though. Let's see what's in this. Uh, if anything, we've got terrible rims with brand new street tires. Yay, I guess. Um, we're, I'm going to be ripping all this apart because we have, uh, good suspensions and the like. We do have brand new suspensions here with front hub. Screw you. We're going to take all that off. Take all this off. These lights aren't going to do jack crap for me because they're Megora brand. I think, is that how it, Megora. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. They're Magura brand, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Get rid of this. All right, we've got almost all the parts off here. I know what's going to happen, too. There's a weird phenomenon when you're playing video games for YouTube and you're talking about them. What happens is a small part of your attention span always goes to commentating. So what happens is you end up doing crap that you wouldn't normally do, like selling parts that you should probably keep, and that's probably what's going to happen. But whatever. What's the big what's the big problem? You know, we can we can buy some stuff if we have to. Uh for some reason we'll fix that up and get a bunch more money because you never know. We got a lot of brakes here. A lot of brakes. Got a lot of control arms and stuff too. Uh oh god. Alright, whatever. We'll go ahead and just sell all this crap. Control arms in there. Look at all these control. There's freaking control arms everywhere. Get rid of all these damn control arms. I don't need all these control arms. Couple of dashboards. Uh, there's the Megora dashboard. We have the Narnu dashboard, too. I don't think that we're gonna need an extra dashboard right now. So, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. There's a lot of money in that damn dashboard, too. Differential box can be fixed up for some good cash right there. We got another, um... We got another 4x4 drive box as well. This is 425. I think our other Narnu is almost exactly the same. Let's go ahead and get rid of this couple of drive shaft things over here, whatever, a cooling fan, sure, a fuse box, get rid of all that, now we're starting to get some cash, this is what I'm talking about, boys, we're up and back at $11,000, this is what we needed, get rid of all this crap over here, couple of headlights, what are these, Magura? yeah, we don't need that right now, we're not going to be doing the Magura thing for now, we, maybe we'll do that next or something, I don't know, you guys, just like last time, feel free to let me know in the comment section what car we should do next, so, since, uh, since the boot and bang got all the votes, that's kind of what we're doing right now. We got a couple of extra engines. I don't know what I would need this for. Uh, let's see here. Because we already have a decent engine in. 
So I probably don't need... I'll keep it for now. We'll, we'll keep looking around. This is what I was talking about, by the way. Remember how I said you could fix stuff for an extra penny? Watch this. <laughs> I want. That's how cheap I am, folks. I want that extra penny, damn it. Got all this racing suspension is here. Notice we have the uh, front and rear racing suspension. So I think I'm going to get rid of this generic suspension for right now. The racing suspension is probably what we'll put on the boot bang. So we can get our extra penny here, get our extra penny here. Is it worth it? I don't know. Realistically, though, I think every time we do this, like every time we make little adjustments and stuff like that, our skill level goes up because our mechanic skill is actually quite high. Uh, and then the sway bars, I'm just going to go ahead and sell these. And then we have this broken taillight that's not doing anything for us. Okay, so we got $16,000. Right over here, you can see our mechanic skill, 120. Uh, our racing skill is four. Come on, man, I want to race. It should be higher than four. And our dealer skill is 24. Let's go ahead and sell this frame and then use a little bit of our cash up. All right, here we are. So we've got the boot and bang drag car wreck and then the cheap boot and bang special. So I think what we'll do, let's go check this drag racer out. Uh, I don't know what makes this a drag racer. Sometimes people had said, that like the little kind of comments in the cars aren't always like super accurate to what they like. They, it, it'll say like, you know, this is a crazy racing machine. Wow, GTO V8. 482 horsepower, huh? Hmm. That ain't too damn bad. It's 1969. That's what makes it special, boys. Um. All right. Well, let's uh, let's check it out. Burns through gas like a sunbee, though, doesn't it? We got this tower here on there as well. Go ahead and hoist it up. Take a look at the innards. Some of you guys always say to start it up. I don't know. Will this thing start? No. This does not turn over at all. Probably because there's a lot of stuff missing on this. Uh, the engine is bad, but it... Oh, my God. The engine is just freaking jacked up. Look at this. Almost everything in the engine is destroyed. Um, I don't even think I can fix this. Yeah, a lot of this you can't even fix. Oh, you can fix the supercharger tower. How about them apples, boys? I don't know how much supercharger tower is worth. But just the engine itself is going to cost 1600 bucks. So, I mean, I guess we can start going through this and fixing what we can fix. Like the oil filter, you're not going to be able to fix that. Can't fix the starter. Uh, can't fix the generator, of course not. Uh, okay, thermostat's new, water pump's new, the oil's, obviously you can't fix the oil. I don't think that we have any ignition or sparks laying around. Oh, we do. That's odd. I have some Narnu sparks just, like, laying around. Um, we can put them in there, I guess. Oh, it looks like there's racing suspension on here, too. That's kind of interesting. Uh, alright, so anyway, this tower, 875 bucks, man. Alright, I'll go ahead and fix it, whatever. Max overboost, 0.6 bar. You say B-A-R or bar. What kind of wheels and stuff do we have on here? Oh, of course. The wheels are, like, freaking beautiful. Slick tires on here. Rims can be fixed. Okay. Uh, and then the suspension is looking crap. The suspension is worn out. Um, all right. We're going to go ahead and remove all that then. I imagine all the suspension is shot. Usually if one suspension piece is shot... Oh, look at that. The suspension's okay. Um, and it is boot and bang brand suspension. I'm still going to go ahead and rip it off for right now. Like I said, what I'm going to do probably is rip this thing apart. Um, or at least most of it apart. Maybe we'll keep it like this for right now. So now we kind of know what's in this. We have a, a busted up engine. That's the type of engine that's in it. We got the supercharger tower on it. Uh, it, this thing would need a lot of work, man. Oh my God. Uh, like, are the, are the bars any good? The sway bar is okay. Uh, how about the gearbox? The gearbox is worn out, but it's fixable. So that's nice. There's no clutch on it. But, uh, that's fine. How about the battery? Battery's in good condition. Fuse box. Fuse box is in good condition. Uh, let's see here. Dashboard? Dashboard? Man, these dashboards are always in good condition. I love that. They must not be Dodges. If any of you guys are Dodge owners out there... You may have, oh, if you guys have older Dodges, I don't think they still suffer from this. You guys may have had dash cancer. Um, I've been pretty lucky. I do have a Dodge truck, but I've never had that problem yet. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and, all right, let's go ahead and keep it like this. Let's go back to the newspaper real quick. Let's check out this cheap boot and bang special and let's see what we can get inside of it. I'm going to toss this old girl out. She'll probably end up going flying because there's not going to be any wheels on it anymore. Anytime you have a vehicle with no wheels, you boys saw what happened. It's a freaking, it's a freaking hoot. 
Um, all right, GTO V8 again. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Wow, this has miles on it. That is some mileage, boys. 755,000 <laughs> freaking kilometers on this thing. Has anyone ever beaten that before in a vehicle they've owned? I can't say that I have. How's the car look? Car's got four wheels on it. That's a good start. I kind of like the paint job. The red with black top. That actually looks pretty sweet. Um, let's lift it up. I'm kind of surprised here at everything. There's a lot of parts on this. Whoa! Yeah! All right. Engine sounds pretty damn good. I like the grumble on that engine. Mmm. Uh, okay. Carburetor shot. I imagine probably most of this engine is shot and or broken. Uh, yeah. In fact, the entire engine is broken. Oh. There are some parts to this that can be fixed, though. The generator. Oh, the generator can be fixed. How about the drive belt? I imagine it cannot be fixed. No. Those are usually broken and you can't do anything with them. I think we have an extra drive belt on us. Ignition can be fixed, though. All right. So this, I fixed everything I could on the engine. Let's go ahead and rip everything out that has decent condition to it because we may put it into our other engine. I can't remember off the top of my head everything in the other engine that's shot. All right. The suspensions over here are looking pretty good as well. Um, rear hubs, how are the hubs doing? Hubs are all fixable. That's pretty good. Brakes are fixable as well. Sweet. So I think this is gonna be, like, our main base car, because there's a lot of good stuff on here. Uh, like, a lot of good stuff. We can fix almost everything. How about these lights? How do these lights look? Man, we can even fix the lights, man! Put a, put a piece of tape across the light- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was gonna say, put a piece of tape across the light, lights looking good. How about the differential box? Oh, it's broken, but fixable. All right, well, boom, there you go. R2SE, huh? I haven't messed around with a lot of differential boxes yet, so I don't know which one's the best for our purposes. Drive shaft looking good. Actually, both half shafts are looking good as well. Okay, well, I think we've got pretty lucky between these two. Come with me, engine, and bring that freaking sweet ass tower with you. Also, uh, come with me dashboard. Because we're gonna need that as well. Everything else, there's a couple of new things on here, but I don't have to worry about it right now. If we go to the car frame on this, notice how it says top speed, 220. Um, that's kind of interesting because let's go ahead and kick this thing back out and grab our uh, grab our other vehicle real quick over here in the parking lot. Watch this. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, it's got all the wheels on it. I forgot. We kept the wheels on. Look, top speed on this one, 262. Now, I don't know if that's because of the gearbox style that's inside or because of the frame type. You know what I mean? Or something of that, of something of that. I, I don't know. I, I'm not really 100% sure. But let's go ahead and start swapping these parts out, baby. We're going to get this thing freaking flying. So right over here. First things first. Brand new engine, boys. Right over here. GTO V8. Uh, it's got a lot of problems on it, but nothing we can't fix for the most part or find things on. It's got that big-ass supercharger tower on it as well. While we're at it, go ahead and throw a new dash. This is interesting. A dash R or a dash. Dash R, battery level gauge, oil temp. That's kind of cool. I didn't know there was all this kind of crap on there. No water temp gauge, though, huh? Or just dashboard. And this just has a couple of things on it. Oh, hold on here. I wonder, can I do this, go over here, rip this off, or does it have to be, huh, um, that's different, so it worked, it's not a water temp gauge R, whatever, I'm gonna put this on here, we'll see what it looks like, alright, we got an extra starter, sweet, so we're getting somewhere, man, we're, we're this thing, this, the Franken vehicle's coming together, Oil filter? No, we don't have an extra oil filter. Uh, and then the carburetor, we don't have an extra carburetor. All we have is a broken one right now. So we're going to have to buy that stuff. Uh, what we can do is we can remove all the suspensions and we can put the racing suspension on. I don't know exactly what that's going to do for our vehicle. But for right now, things that we're going to need is we're going to need a clutch. We're going to need a... Do we, I think we need a carburetor, and we're going to need an oil filter. So let's grab that stuff right away. All right, we got an oil filter for a boot and bang. We got two. This is odd. There's one that's 50 and one that's 55. This one's used. This one's new. Oh, well, give me the new one then. I'll pay an extra five bucks. It's freaking five bucks. Come on, man. 
All right, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a new clutch right here. New clutch works for most of the cars. Uh, 250 bucks, very good. Let's go. Let's throw on right now what we have. Take another look here. So we got a brand new clutch, generic style. Let's go ahead and put that on real fast. Looking good. Over here in the in the engine, uh, we still need a carburetor, and I think that we managed to get our filter. Yeah, we got ourselves an oil filter. So let's go ahead and throw that on real quick. All right, well, while we're waiting on that, let's see if we can fix up the friggin' lights over here, because I'm pretty sure... Okay, I was totally wrong. I was like, I'm pretty sure we have extra lights hanging around, don't we? Like, we have a worn-out a worn out light. I know we have an extra light. Yes, you can't lie to me, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now I think we have three out of four lights, and three out of four lights ain't bad. Hey, we got a new carburetor for the boot and bang. Man, there's one thing I love doing is boot and bang. And hey, we got an appropriate drive belt, too. It's used. But it's still in good condition. I want a new one. Um, I am gonna buy this brand new boot and bang carburetor though, because getting it for like the actual engine at this point is kind of lucky. Um, I don't always get quite so lucky. So we got that, and then we have the air filter, which is the tower. So let's go ahead real fast. Well, before we do this, hold on. I just wanna. Oh, that's right. It's not gonna start because our uh, our freaking carburetor is still all jacked up. I was gonna say I wanted to start it. And then just see how it sounds. But first things first, we gotta make sure that the last few key parts are on this thing. I'm just looking at the difference between the uh, Eroa 1 front racing suspension. And then we have a sport suspension. So, one's racing, one's sport. But when you look at the stats, maybe I'm missing it, man. 50, 25, 45, 70,000, 25. 50... 2545. Is it just me? Is it just me or are these exactly the same? They. I gotta be missing something. Oh, whatever. Let's go ahead and throw this on. Oop, front hub needs fixing. Man, this is what I'm talking about, boys. Every once in a while, you get random crap on here. Oh, this is because the entire control arm and everything came off. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and fix all this up anyway. I'm gonna get rid of the freaking tires and rims and stuff like that, though, because that's pointless. All right, bam! Got all the racing suspensions on. There's a couple of sway bars and stuff like this I saw that were um, needed to be fixed up. I think I have everything fixed at 100%. Yep, as far as I can tell, everything's at 100%. All the fuse box and everything is good. Let's go ahead and bring her down, boys. It's been a long time, but this thing needs a brand new freaking paint job. And what are we going to do for the paint job, boys? Let's go take a look here. What should we do for the paint job? I feel like a car like this needs to be impressive. Not, not pink impressive. Not purple impressive. I hate to be cliche. But man, I feel like red looks good on this with the black top. I don't know, guys. Let me know. I like that red with the black top, though. Damn. How's all this other stuff look? Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, no, I don't really like that. That looks kind of different. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that, too. Just regular stripes. Or the black flames, man. I don't know, man. I kind of like the red and black look. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's fine. We'll just put this in for right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and make it. Uh, right there. That's how it is, men. That's how it is, women as well. <laughs> that's how it is, everyone. This is what we got. Boot and bang, red and black. Let's get her out on the road, damn it! All right. All right. Oh, wow. The first person view. That's a hell of a thing, man. You can't see crap in here. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll drive from this perspective. Let's see how, see how it runs. Whoa. Listen to that engine. All right. This thing peels out a little bit, too, doesn't it? Holy crap. All right. Let me see. Let's see how I can get this thing moving. You know this is going to do barrel rolls, right? Old Gray's at the helm here. Oh, gray is at the helm. Oh, Lord. There we go. Got to take the very first sign out that we see. Wow. This thing is... I tell you, I get a little bit used. Whoa, hey, hey, now. I get a little bit used to driving 
the off-road vehicle and now I'm in this thing and it is like driving on freaking greased bull crap. I can't believe this thing. Oh my god. Just I just staying on the road is a giant chore. Let's maybe we'll oh, maybe we'll use this thing to kind of wander around town a little bit. Let's see what's going on around these parts though, boys. Man, this thing gets some speed at 150 kilometers per hour, and I'm not even trying. Got a gas station over here, which is cool. What in the hell is this? Look at this giant complex. What the, what the, what is this? All right, let's go check it out. Hold on now. Gotta go take a look here. We're friggin' skidding out all over the place. Oh, come on. What is this? Road closed. Local traffic only. I'm a local. I'm a transplant, but I'm local. Freaking detour. Oh, right there. It's a raceway park. How do we open it? I wonder if we have to do it from the map or something like that. All right, let's keep wandering around the area a little bit. Just kind of take a, a further look at what we got going on. Can we climb up that cool, that little rock formation on there, I wonder? Probably not in this type of vehicle. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get in the left-hand lane for you guys. Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? There's someone on the side of the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is, what is this? Oh God. All right. Hey there, brother. What? You feel like a drag? First to the end of the straight wins. Ooh, a drag. I think we might be okay with that as long as it's perfectly straight. It's probably not. 500 bucks. I'll go, oh crap. What is this? I don't want to, this isn't a drag race at all. What the hell? This is a friggin', this is a friggin' dirt track. I've been lied to. How am I gonna do this on a dirt track, guys? We got friggin' racing suspensions on here. This is a friggin' race car with friggin' street tires on. We're actually doing pretty good. Are we in front? I feel like we're in front. Either this guy's bad or I'm just the man. He's gotta be bad. Actually, you know what? Just, just say Grace is the man. There you go. I'll, I'll feel good about myself for once in life. All right, yeah, we'll just kind of do this little here, little zigzag action, boys. Oh, how it is. This is how you win racing, boys, right here. Don't even worry about being on the track. Just, what the crap, what the frick is this? What is this? What? What? What is this bullshit? What the frick is the second place? What are you talking about? What a bunch of lies. Where the hell is the, where's the finish line at? Oh, that's bullshit. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on, we're doing this crap again. No, 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 no. We're doing this again. Now that I know where the hell the freaking end of the road is, bunch of lies. Yeah, you all watch from your freaking campers. Watch this old gray wins the off-road track with a freaking race car. Yes, oh, don't flip though. Whatever you do, don't flip. Just kind of go a little bit over here. God, this, I'm just gonna stay in third gear, boys. I don't think we need to go much further than third gear. Okay, maybe I'll drop down to second every now and again. You guys know how it is. Now, to be fair, I think he's having the same issues that I'm at, that I'm having driving his, uh, cause it looked like he's got a friggin' supercharged tower, street race style vehicle as well. All right, just kinda go right over here. There we go. And now, we gotta take this home. We gotta, there you go. That's how you did, that was the easiest race. I think I've ever been a part of. I feel bad. Like, I legitimately feel bad winning that. I feel like we... <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't have taken that. It's like I was going... Bring your crate to King Shadow. We'll see how she go. What the hell is King Shadow? Did we just unlock a, uh, a map or something? Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back into the, uh, back into the garage real quick here. Oh, we unlocked something that... Imalona Desert? That doesn't sound like something I want to do with this. Um, in fact, you know what? We'll go give it a shot. But a desert in a boot and bang? That's not freaking happening. But I'll tell you where it is happening with the old Narnu here. 4x4. Four four. That sounds more like it. Yeah, let's give this a shot. I don't care. Racetrack somewhere out past the Black Stump. A lot of rev heads and there have you. Time trial. I oh you know how I am always supposed to practice first and then I never do. Um, we're doing it again. We're gonna try for a freaking bronze. I don't even care. Here we go. All right, Narnu. I've got I've got some remembrance of how to drive you, so I think we're gonna be just. Oh, what is this? It's like a freaking dust cloud. The freaking dust bowl style track. This is some bull crap right here. 
Okay. I don't even I, I don't even know where the track is. Oh, the track is over there. Okay, and this is why you always practice first. Part of watching this channel is learning what not to do in gameplay. Just do, whatever you do, don't follow Gray's lead and you'll be a winner. You'll be just fine. Checkpoint time, 27 seconds, huh? All right. How many laps do I have to do? How long is this track? Jesus. God, this freaking, these freaking dust clouds. I can't even see what's coming up. Oh, look, there's little penises sticking out of the ground. Little stony phalluses. This is interesting. This is a normal occurrence over in Australia? All right. Now the, looks like the winds have lifted up a little bit. Oh, my God. I can't even, oh, this is tough. There's uh, so many damn winds and twists and turns and everything. I know everyone's like, great, you're oversteering. Yeah, no crap. I'm over freaking steering. Okay, let's see here. Let's go in right about here and then come out nice and wide. And by nice and wide, I mean, let's not try and hit the freaking guardrail, Gray. That's not terrible. Um, oh, I think we just won. I think you have to finish the race, though. You can't, you're not allowed to just, like, to just, like, quit and then say, hey, I got the best time, give me my money. I think you actually have to finish the race out. Plus, I'm sure you guys want to see me finish out the race because it's totally possible that I'll end up flipping. And if you flip and you can't finish the race, then you lose your money. And there's one thing I'm good at. It's flipping cars and losing money. Okay, this is a little bit wider than you guys probably want. Man, I gotta, I gotta fix the drive belt in this thing, cause you can, this thing's squeaking like a friggin' son of a bitch. All right, right about here. Okay, we're in the, we're in the penis land. That means that we're almost at the end. Anytime you come, oh god, okay. Anytime you come to the rocky penises, you're almost finished. Let's just kind of go. Why do we even, why are we even taking these turns? Let's just kind of go off road a little bit. We're in freaking Narnu. It's no big deal, right, guys? 54 seconds, 56 seconds. We're doing pretty damn good. I'm gonna tell you boys what. I don't know, I don't know what this time is gonna be here, but I think we may beat our last time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Gray's got it down, Pat. Gray's got it down, Pat. That's how you do it all day. Don't clip the corner. Okay, good. Yes! Minute 15, baby! Damn! That's what I'm talking about. Can we beat a minute 15? What is the goal? Oh, wow. Goal place is 53 seconds on this track. Yeah, I may not be doing that right off the bat. Oh, don't you skid out on me. Don't you skid out on me. Got to, I don't want to overcorrect too much, though. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. For a second there, I thought we were going to go hit the wall. But everything turned out to be just fine. Right over here, this is one of the big drifty dudes. There we go. Just kind of drift around there. No big deal. Gray's gonna go off road momentarily. Get a little bit of flips in there. Have you in? No one cares about doing flips. We're back over in Phallus Land. Where in the hell is the roadway? I found all of the wieners, but I'm missing the roadway. Okay, this was not a good idea. Going off the road was Gray's worst idea yet. Oh shit! All right. Um, that's fine though. You remember, we've already we've already won. It's no big deal. Hitting a couple of hitting a couple of stone dongs is not gonna make or break us. We've already got this. I just gotta finish it. I just gotta finish the friggin' race. That's all we need to do. Just finish the race, Gray. Nice and slow. You don't need to be a hero. Don't be a freaking hero. Next thing you know, I'm gonna try for the best time. Oh my, what am I doing? I'm freaking picking up the speed like I wanna be Superman over here. And I do wanna be Superman. Let's go around this corner full speed. And hey, minute 30 for the last lap. That would have been a losing lap, but we have two winning laps. You missed the checkpoint. Found the missing checkpoint. <laughs> yep, it was in the middle of the stone wang area. So we inevitably did get it. Um, this last lap was a little bit of a giant disappointment. And by a giant disappointment, I mean it was probably the most disappointing thing anyone could ever do. Can we please finish the damn game now? If I cross the finish line, is this gonna be it for now? Come on, baby! Get there! Give me that photo finish! Three minutes and six seconds! Yeah! There we go, race finished! All right, we still won, we got $2,000. We got ourselves a boot and bang. That's gonna be it for this episode, boys. I hope you're enjoying <laughs> Rev Heads if you can enjoy my failures. Till next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.